everyone. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to talk to you about foam rolling you should be doing but probably are not. I'm Corey Boggs, lead trainer and wellness director at Benefit Fitness. If this is your first time at our channel, here we like to do 30 minute workouts, 10 minute workouts, also some fitness and nutritional tips. All right guys, let's just jump right in. I bet you've seen one of these lying around your gym but have not taken advantage of the benefits it can bring. It is an amazing and inexpensive tool that you can use to help your body feel better. As a trainer, I like to use this with my clients before and after a session. Before a session, we use it to help with mobility issues or movement restrictions. And then after a session, I'll send my clients home and tell them while they're watching TV to use it on some places where they may feel some muscle soreness. The main benefit that you get from using a foam roller is that it releases trigger points and alleviates tight muscles by increasing the blood flow to your muscles. I'm gonna give you some quick guidelines before we get into actual foam rolling. The first one being is to apply moderate pressure to your muscles with the foam roller. The second is to roll slowly and in control. And finally, is just spend 30 to 60 seconds in each area. So I'm gonna show you a few common areas that my clients find super helpful. The first one are your calves. When you do your calves, you wanna start at the base of your ankles. You can put equal amounts of pressure on both legs. From here, you wanna lift your bum up off the ground and slowly rock your way up to the base of your knees. As you're doing this, I'm going nice and slow. You also can rock from side to side, working your way all the way up. As soon as you find a tender area, you wanna hang out there and then contract and relax your muscles, meaning I'm gonna point, I'm gonna flex my feet, trying to break down that muscle. Working my way all the way up to the base of your knees. If that doesn't create enough pressure for you, the next thing you can do is cross one leg over the other. Lift your bum up off the ground and then rock back and forth. I have some sensitive calves, so as I'm doing this, I definitely feel it. So, and then when you find that tight area or that spot where you start feeling some tension, remember one of our guidelines to apply just moderate pressure. You only wanna feel about a level of a five out of 10 amount of discomfort. Hang out there for 30 to 60 seconds. So from here, we're gonna move into the tops of our legs or our quads. So I'm gonna start with the foam roller at the tops of my knees. I'm gonna come to my forearms. When we're in this position, we wanna make sure we don't end up getting an arch spine. We wanna stay nice and strong from our shoulder to our core. So at the base of my knees, and then I'm just gonna slowly rock back and forth as I work my way up my muscles. As soon as I find a tender spot, I got one right there, I'm going to then bend and straighten my legs to help release that knot. So I'm just trying to release the tension that's on my muscles, rocking side to side for 30 to 60 seconds. You'll work your way all the way up your muscle, finding those sensitive areas. So from here, we're gonna go into our inner thighs. We're gonna put the foam roller lengthwise with our body. I'm gonna bring my knee up to about 90 degrees. I'm gonna start again at the base of my knee. My knee is at 90 degrees. And I'm gonna work my way all the way up into my groin, but I bet you're gonna find some right there on the top of your knee. When you're in this position, you start to feel that sensitive area. Then I want you to raise and lower that heel. Again, we're just working in a different direction, contracting and relaxing your muscle for 30 to 60 seconds. Applying pressure that you just feel comfort about a five out of 10. You do not want to feel intense amount of pain. We want to try to relax into the pressure. And then we'll work our way all the way up to the base of our groin. So you'll find your spot. Everybody's spots are going to be different, but we're really just trying to break down those trigger points or those sensitive areas to help alleviate the pressure in your muscles. So from here, we're going to go to our upper body. We're going to do our lats. This is definitely a sensitive area for people. They don't realize that they have so much tightness through here. So we're gonna put this right at the base of our armpits. You can keep your butt on the ground to start with. 
because this might be just enough pressure. If you need more pressure, you would press up with your other foot to lift your bum up off the ground, creating more weight into the foam roller. So I'm slightly rocking as finding those sensitive spots when you find one. Then you can also put your thumb up into the air and kind of floss is what we like to call this, the muscle, reaching and pulling back in to kind of break down that trigger point. So finally, we're gonna go into our T-spine. This is gonna help with, we often have these rounded shoulders, we sit at our desk, rounded over. Now we're gonna, we wanna kind of open that up. So we're gonna start again with our bum on the ground, the middle of your mid-back. From here, I wanna make sure that we don't start arching our back to get over there. We wanna keep our ribs tucked down, hands behind your head. From here, I'm going to try to reach my T-spine up over that foam roller, extending, extending, making sure I'm not just arching my back. We're gonna keep our ribs down, core is engaged, and we're just gonna extend over. And then come back up, extend over. You can slowly move this foam roller up your mid-back to your upper back, finding those sensitive areas. You may even get a little spine crack here and there. I did a little spine popping on my own. Keeping those hands behind your head, you can also extend those arms out and reach over. Again, try not to let that back arch. You wanna keep those ribs down. So this is gonna really help with your upper body posture, releasing that tension that we get in our neck and our upper back. So when you foam roll, a few things to remember. You should hydrate before or after. Just like when you go and get a massage and they give you a glass of water when you're done with your massage, same thing with a foam roller, foam rolling. You should definitely make sure you're drinking water to hydrate those muscles after you've released that tension. For the biggest benefit, you should foam roll before your workout to help with any mobility issues you may have and after your workout to help release your muscles, alleviate the stress that you've just put on your body. Another thing, slow your roll. Don't roll super fast back and forth. Control your movement over the body. And finally, make it a daily ritual. It'll really help you perform better and feel better throughout your day. Thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'd love to help you out as you learn to foam roll. Remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and check out our other videos. We look forward to seeing you next time.